pre-workout shake because all I've had is Nando's every day, all day when I come to England. Had Nando's for lunch. Now we're going a, uh, looks like we're going pea protein. We're gonna do approximately a quarter cup of oats and then half a banana and get this party started. It is such a Game of Thrones gym in here. Got the shirt, got the black and black and red for House Targaryen. Going down. I can hear the music in my head right now. Mm -hmm. You ready? You ready? Dun, dun. Push day, push day two of the week. So, on the swole program right now, it's a push pull legs, followed by a day off. We've got some abs in there too. Today, though, I'm focusing on, since it's the second push day of the week, focusing a little bit more on shoulders and triceps. We're still gonna be bench pressing today, but doing a banded bench press. So, I'm warming up. We're gonna link everything for you, uh, the swole program below. Um, right now, we're doing some Spider Man walks. Upright rows, banded pull-aparts, and then warm up the triceps as well with some clapping push-ups. Today, we're doing a banded bench press. Now, a lot of times we'll do banded bench press from the bottom. This one, since it's our, our second benching day of the week, we're doing it from the top. See, I've set up a band here. Tighten it from the top in a place that really is gonna be the bar path. And once I'm down there benching, it's gonna, really, it's gonna be on the same path as that bar. So as we set it up, what we're really trying to focus on today is that last part of the movement. So obviously, as we bring it down, it's gonna be lighter than it would normally. And as we get to the top, it's gonna be less and less resistance on that band, meaning it's gonna get more loose at the top. So it's gonna get harder as we press through the top. Now, this is great because we're not gonna be tearing up our chest again. We've already benched heavy once this week, so it's allowing, allowing us to go heavy again, but not tearing up chest as much as really we're working on the triceps. That finishing part of the bench press to help us get stronger. So it's always about training, not just harder, but smarter as well. We got seven sets of three, working up to a real heavy set. We're gonna stay shy, two reps shy of absolute failure and really work on, on good movement here. So keeping that bar path nice and straight, using proper form. Seven Seven sets of three. The biggest thing with the bench press that I see a lot of people doing, even on the setup, we talked about it before, from the very get-go, heels pressed into the ground, knees are gonna be bent even more than 90. So you guys can be all the way here. If you wanna get a good base, get that back flat, chest nice, nice and arch. How I arch my chest is I remember to keep my shoulder blades back and down. So I'm pretending I'm bending a bar in front of me right here. Boom, that sets me up for success. And then instead of keeping my elbows super flared, tuck those elbows as much as possible. Touching, I always go about nipple line and then pressing back up, not over your head. A lot of guys, when it gets heavy, including me, my elbows tend to flare out and I let that bar drift back up over my head. Waste of movement. point where I could probably get five if I really push. We're gonna stay at three here. Got four more sets. So nothing too, I mean, you can throw the bands on and think you're getting fancy, but three reps, keeping good form, just doing work. Obviously, we're getting tighter and tighter, more tension at the bottom. I don't know if I can do that three times by myself right now. So obviously, in our overhead pressing, big compound movement for the shoulders, working that anterior delt. I typically, on my second day like this, where it's a little bit more shoulder focus, we'll do two shoulder pressing movements. We got one more to come after these next three sets.
See that? Up there? It's a dire wolf. For House Stark. You better know right now. We're looking that shit up for House Stark. Put it on my back. Targaryen Stark. We're getting a baby out of that, even if it is an ancestral one. Right, back to chest. So we started off with a chest movement that was really also a tricep movement. Now go, we went shoulders, back to chest with an incline dumbbell press. 12, 10, 8, 6 are the reps on this. We got 90 seconds in between. So again, today, since we, we did already chest once this week, we're really focusing on, obviously we're still doing pressing, but we did three reps on the bench press before. This is a little bit more volume. 12, 10, 8, 6, going down in weight, getting heavier. So going down, going up in weight, getting heavier each set. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. I don't know what KGs are. This is heavy. We got 12. Two. exercise for the day it's a Scott press so we're gonna do it unsupported sitting down it's gonna look something like this start off just like you would an Arnold press in a supinated grip as I rotate I'm gonna force it behind almost behind my neck pretty much in line with my ears forcing the back to here forcing the scapula to pull back and then finishing here biggest thing press up over the head Keep the pinkies like you're pouring out water at the top. So this is going to be a, a neutral grip. You're going to be pointing them down. It's going to keep that all on that anterior delt. So here, three, 15 reps. Oh, you don't need a ton of weight. The biggest thing here, like I said, force the elbows back and then up here. It's really gonna stress that shoulder. You're gonna get done with these. And again, on the way down, same thing. Come back to that starting position. The whole trap, anterior delt. It burns if you do them right. Because it's a lot of time under tension. Because from here, we're not locking out or we're not resting at the bottom. So the biggest thing you wanna remember on the Scott press, we're gonna start in that pronated grip. And unlike the Arnold press where we're just pressing straight up, we're really forcing the elbows back so that dumbbell is almost behind our head. Nice and slow, keeping the pinkies higher. So if I have weight in my hand at the top, it's gonna look like this. I don't want it here, I want it right here. And then just like you came up, you're gonna come back down behind the back almost, behind the head, and then back to the front. This one, just tons of time under tension. Uh, so much anterior delt, so it's one of my favorites. 
one that I think not enough people utilize. So you can do them standing or seated, but do them unsupported. Getting into the superset part, which is always my favorite. We got 15, 12, 10, 8. 15, 12, 10, 8. We got a incline dumbbell skull crusher superset with a bus driver plate raise. Uh, so a plate raise to bus driver. So you're gonna see me. I'm not gonna put my I'm not gonna put my my ass in the seat. I'm gonna just lean back. Then the other, and then I can switch. I don't like doing a double arm movement with a single arm movement if I'm super setting. Does that make sense? I like doing single arm with another single arm. So extensions plus side lateral raise. Thing. Keep that elbow at 90 all the way to the end and then rotate your wrist and then back to the top. Woo! It's hard to talk to you guys when I'm doing sets. Change, but inherently change is the only thing that brings growth. So just drop that pin one for me. 